basic income. Is it affordable? Under a basic income system, the government would make a simple, unconditional weekly payment to every resident citizen sufficient to meet their basic needs. It sounds great. After all, who wouldn't want to have the sort of financial security that such a scheme could deliver? But there are some people who are very negative indeed about basic income. Some even scoff at the idea. Some of these people claim that basic income is simply unaffordable, even in the world's richest economies, or that, if implemented, it would require massive increases in tax rates. Both these claims, however, are untrue. And I'm going to explain in very, very simple terms why this is the case. It's true, of course, that if you add up all the basic income payments that would have to be made in a year, it would come to a rather large amount of money. This is nothing like the problem, however, that many people assume it to be. For one thing, basic income will be replacing many of our current welfare programmes. The money from these programmes could simply be redirected to basic income instead. Furthermore, basic income would be replacing personal tax allowances. Taxpayers would simply receive a basic income instead of a personal tax allowance. As a result, tax revenues would be considerably higher without any need for any increase in actual tax rates. This would leave only a relatively small gap still to be filled, perhaps by modest changes in some tax rates. Have a good look at this illustration, because in essentials, the situation really is that simple. So, basic income, is it affordable? Yes. Yes, it is. And there isn't really any good excuse for people to go around claiming that it isn't. To find out more or to offer your help in promoting basic income, please visit imos.org.uk slash basic income.